Robert William Baker, written by his nephew, William Reich. My uncle, Robert William Baker, was born on the family farm on November 1, 1917. He was the great-grandson of John Baker, who immigrated from England to arrive in Troy Township in June of 1849. All his forebearers were farmers in the area. He was the oldest son of six children. He grew up in the typical life of a farm boy in the early 20th century. He attended the Baker Elementary School just across the road from his home. Often, the school teacher would rent a room and live with his family. He never really said whether that made him uncomfortable or not. He graduated from Whitewater High School and took two years of college at Whitewater sometime in the late 1930s. He volunteered to serve in World War II. He was trained as a military policeman and was assigned to the 9th Air Force in the U.S. Army Air Corps. He basically guarded the air bases. Initially, he was assigned to a base in England. He did not participate in the D-Day landings, but he told me once that he knew something big was happening because all the air traffic at his base. He could hear the sounds of the big guns across the English Channel. Eventually, as the Allies progressed, he was stationed in Belgium and eventually even in Germany itself. He separated from the Army in 1946 and returned to the family farm. He remained a farmer on the family farm until he had to retire due to failing health. He was a quiet gentleman who was well liked by all who met him and was well known in the Little Prairie area. He was always willing to help others when they had a need. He was an intelligent man and an avid reader. He finished his college degree in history at Whitewater State Teachers College on the GI Bill in 1954 and received his teaching certificate, though he never taught. Mr. Baker never married, but he was a much-loved uncle to 12 nieces and nephews. He was always a member of the family at Thanksgiving and Christmas and other family get-togethers, as well as birthdays. We all looked forward to seeing him at such occasions, and it didn't hurt that we all knew he was good for a present at Christmas or a birthday. I still remember when I received my first baseball bat from my uncle.